The reactions that greeted the removal of a new pricing regime for fear in Nigeria is mixed. Uh, these people here described the removal as a step in the right direction, saying that the removal was long overdue since it has eaten deep into the country's economy. We support the government because the nation cannot continue to subsidize fraud. It is unfortunate that the outgoing administration laid such a landmine. But with the rightful mindset and focused leadership, we are certain that the present government will navigate over it. I am supporting that they should remove it, but there should be a system, a structure, a palliative on ground. Because all this while, and if they will remove it, and we'll see the effect, and we'll see where the money is being channeled to. Those who are against the removal are saying that ordinary citizens are the worst hit following the high cost of living being experienced nationwide. The common man cannot survive in the next few, uh, few days to come. Because if, if, uh, if this uh, inflation affects food, then how can the former common man survive? It's the only big men that will survive in this country. We are suffering for, Christ, for goodness sake. Let them help us. Nigeria is not meant for only one particular people. The common people are there. People like us, we are just managing to survive. A visit to some filling stations in the metropolis operated by major marketers dispense the commodity at between 550 naira and 600 naira per litre. I'm not feeling well because some, let me say, a month ago, I used to fill this moto with a sum of 13,000 naira because of the subsidy, fuel subsidy now. We are buying, I'm filling this moto in the cost of 25,000 naira, which is not good in this country. And uh, during the inauguration, we were hoping that the country will be better for the new president. The things turn around. At the NMPC mega filling station in the metropolis, where fuel is sold at 520 naira per litre, there is a long queue of motorists.